Welcome to Jesse Junction. And of course, as I just mentioned earlier, we have one of the top gospel artists on Jesse Junction today. Now, with Yama Ametokatuma Ju, Akaland, Swagnayo, Smell Nazo, Walking Style Nazo, Babado, Nazi Kuchin, Moji, Shot Baba Konya Jesse Junction, Buddha. Women let you in Kutoka, new S of A. Ah, first of all, ni salamu za Biden. <laughs> ni experience ya Skibao. <laughs> Maoni. <laughs> na comparison za Kenya na Maju. Na jokutu na mekonya Maju. Anashina na tuwa kikompe ya Kenya na Maju. Sini kwa na comparison. Unajua Maju? Maju, Maju kuna kuanga. Unachikisa Maju, eh? Na kume, na kume wa msa ata jaiye na Maju. Eh, mina penda Kenya. Mi, mina penda Kenya. Lakini saa unachaki Maju. <laughs> You know, I love my country, but let me tell you, <laughs> in the system. <laughs> <laughs> ah, eh? welcome back, my boy. Thanks, man. Yeah, man, I'm happy to be here. Jesse Junction, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, but, uh, that was up. You know, they shouldn't make it, bro. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back for us, come back, come back. Come in Nairobi, you need to work hard, <laughs> work hard. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back, come back, come back, come back. It's a stallion. It's a st oh. Yeah. yeah. It's a stallion. But what's the difference between a horse and a stallion? It's a stallion. <laughs> it's a stallion. Yeah, what's a stallion? That. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, horse. Horse me for us too. <laughs> this? Hey, for us too. But, but this? this? This it's is a stallion, stallion, man. All right, so all right. So, you're going to have a swap. Yeah, you're check it, bro. Yeah, hey, stallion could have been like, so you said. I see it. How is it going to end up? I don't know if you're going to have a joke. I don't know if you're going to have a spooky. I don't know if you're going to have a joke. Okay, you're going to have a joke. I don't know if you're going to have a joke. I don't know if you're going to have a joke. I don't know if you're going to have a joke. I don't know. I won't say anything, but Nakimeru, I'm a Kikuyo, whatever. Ah, Utaskia, EJ Mokaragia. Eh, I can issue Moikaragia. Ni vile huko hocha sijui hawezi concentrate on notice kuna hata paka utembea hapa eh eh ni naweza ita ikam zi zi what usijoin ni cut see ni junction yes even room utaenda hivyo ni upendi paka ah ah si 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 chuki paka na ogopa paka what do you mean what difference i don't hate cuts but i have fear cuts I'm a serious you. Eh, yeah, serious. Tumzima, you fear cards. Eh, when you cards, you can't go to family lion, bro. It is in the lion family. You go to the cheetah family. You go to the Zahonga, every bro in a can of cool. It's just a small, small animal, Kadogo. Mini gonna policy. It's just me. Cassie is a cooler yom yama, she was a worker yom yama. So, Kuku, Mombe, and Guru is on the Nezaka Pekiaki. Paka Z. Z. Doggy. Maybe. Why 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 is it that you don't like a cat? I una cat traumatized. Vile nimesema acha ni hita hapa. I just fear cats, bro. Mimi na anga zingine ni wasetu. Yo si paka. So only change. <laughs> <laughs> like who ni Omar you? <laughs> Kwani uko na uko na history na mapaka. Wewe naka kuna kitu paka. Ana mapaka u calculate, bro. Mpaka u calculate bwana. Kuna kitu wewe unajua kuna ujinga fulani na kuaga na dogi mpaka ina kuaga janja sana bro kuna kwa maisha yako uki grow haujawahi dipata hata queen wherever you grew up au kujipata hata mko na paka ever no there's only one this one time nikwambia grow me grow up kwa nyumba ya mabati paka ile ingeta after space everywhere kwa sababu nyumba ya mabati kuna spaces mpaka ingie so there's this one card ili ingia kila siku unapiga nduru kila siku unapiga nduru mpaka ikafika mahali tuka come to an understanding na hiyo paka mm -hmm. 
that wewe ni sawa unakaanga pale na mimi uka hapa juu sasa ingetafuta tu space tumejaribu kufunga hizo spaces kabisa na manguo nini wapi uko hapa ngando hapa lenana ile slam ya lenana eh hapo hiyo area hapo lenana hapo ndo mimi that's why hapo ndo nimegoro hapo no more eh na nikaenda shule iko hapo kwa hiyo forest inaitwa ngong forest primary school you grew up ngando slums yeah lenana eh hapo ndo nimegoro na ukaenda Ngong Forest Primary Ngong Forest School. Primary. Eh, hapo ndo nimegrow. And you are born there. Nilizaliwa Kawangware. But nikizaliwa Kawangware tuko tunaishi mai mahio. Unajua mai mahio? Yes. Unajua unashai kula huko nyama ukienda na kuni. So nimegrow up just in Dagoreti constituency yote tu nikifanyanga mambo huko. Jumli kwa wase wa mtatu. Wase wa mtatu. So sometimes niko na mabeste satellite. Mm-hmm. Sometimes niko hapa hivi karibu na showground kunaitwa Keno hapo ndo tuko tunaenda kanisa. Hapa <laughs> hivi karibu na sio unajua mali kuna World War 2 cemetery. Yes. Hiyo sandu ilikuwa kama eh Uhuru Park. Uhuru Park. Unaenda yeah, kuchili kwa cemetery. Hapo ndo watu walikuwa wanaenda kukatiana kwa cemetery bro. Una eh? huo demu kimwambia umemada umemada. <laughs> <laughs> ya ukweli. <laughs> na kufa. Ni hapa hivi Keno. <laughs> Alafu wote wanacheza wote wale wale wa ball wanacheza ball hapa hivi hapa hivi karibu na showground hiyo kiwanja kubwa ya posta eh hiyo ndio ilikuwa kama nyayo stadium na sasa kulikuwa na nyingine sasa mpira sasa juice wote ndio kwa penda mpira mpira center ilikuwa kaongware mhm so huko ndio tukona ndio watu wanaenda kucheza tournament za ball eh kaongware na hapa kwa Denis Oliech pia ni mtaa yangu bado hapa kona eh so kulikuwa na different areas na sisi tunaenda zote unaenda kuona mpira huku ni nakufanya huku alafu ngwaro mimi nilikuwa naenda sana because ilikuwa part of a project ilikuwa inaitwa compassion international so huko nilikuwa naenda sana ngwaro na shosho yangu alikuwa anauza kwa soko na mama yangu kawa ngware market ndani pale kwa vimba ndani nimesema na kauni yamini unaweza uliza shosho vile alizumbuka kwa soko eh ni kweli alikuwa alikuwa anaenda kutus ananua mandizi sande jioni mande jioni anaka mnazo anazi anaziweka vinyi zinaivishagwa <laughs> eh, sike ruha in like two weeks <clears throat> and then anaziuza kwa market basically you had so hiyo time like eh? that hard life ama ilikuwa tu ilikuwa life tu tamu na huko unajua kama uko na shida unajua uko na shida lakini sometimes uko kwa shida si hata unafikiria ni shida lakini ni shida mm-hmm. ni shida lakini si shida at that time mm-hmm. because kasa for me nitasema ilikuwa ilikuwa tough because what you see other kids wako nayo wewe una but manishi in your own setup unakosa you know, i don't know if you get what i'm saying yes unakula like, unakula unavaa una maybe uvai uvai vinyo unaweza kuona taka hao wengine vinyo wanavaa maybe ukuli kenye but haukosi food haukosi chakula haukosi 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 kupendwa mm-hmm. oh yeah oh yes eh, na mko na urupa kienu eh kuna urupa kwa kiana kwa cemetery tunaenda kanisa eh tuna tunaonanga watu wale na school wakienda Mm-hmm. shule tuenda shule kwa forest kwa shule, kwa forest kuna dam now that I, i think of it i was really living a good life <laughs> <laughs> because tunapita kwa forest nini sasa unajua unajua sasa hivi kuna na hiyo kitu eh mimi nataka shule kwa bush sasa hivi niko Nairobi na work hard ndio siku moja nijenge nyumba kwa bush <laughs> Wasaili kwa na ona hiyo bush ni jina. Alafu unatoka slum, unaenda unapitia kwa forest ukienda shule. Hey, na saa hii unalipa kutembea kwa forest ati ni cha walk. Imagine, na tuko natembea hapo tunakula wild berries hapo kwa hiyo shule. 8 years sina hapo hivyo kabla niende senior chief kwa inange. Mm-hmm. So huko ndo nilichukia, huko ndo niliogopa paka. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, kwa hizo, so kwa hiyo slum kulikuwa sana nyumba za mabati. Eh, hey, kwa hiyo mabati paka zinapita waso wameenda wakiuza the land so my flats imeenda zikikam uh-huh. but before kila mtu alikuwa anaishi kwa nyumba za mabati tulikuwa tunajua familia zote cuz most of them pia some of them ni distant uh, distant relatives, uh, relatives ile guka guka ya guka yangu ni ya ule ni makazi so much of those kind of things so yeah. that's what that's a setup when you grow around hapo hapo ngando na that is when ulianza kuogopa paka because Ndizo zilikuwa zinapita kwa nyumba mama. Eh, hey, sibio mazi. Alafu unajua mtaka unakoga na marumas. Kuna majini fulani. Time fulani watu wanaona mafuta ya nguruwe. <laughs> na mamsalaba. <laughs> Kuna jini lionekana na nguo za white sat. <laughs> <laughs> na hizo vitu zilikuwa za kweli hapo ngando. 
slums mali uko naishi ati kuna mtu aliona kuna jini ilionekana hey, ya white sijui nini eh ikiza ba u ile vera gastalio kuni wewe uko naishi tukaiwa uko uko imeni tu wewe waacha sasa uko hocha kuna jini si tulikuwa tunajua ziko Mombasa Huko tu ni jaba. Hivi ulikuwa tu jaba. Ah ukitoka usemi umeona jini wanajua ah ameshika. Wewe na home sasa. Mtaa ni a very interesting place because hiyo mtaa yangu ni setup ya nimekombea hizo families. The families wengi wao ni ile bako wenyewe uko na parcel of land but una moyo. So mimi buna jenga manyumba kadhaa men na leta moyo so watu wenyewe wanaishi hapo ni different people from different cultures right yani mpaka leo hujaijua kuita pesa pesa bado naitanga moyo nijina nijina hapo hiyo hiyo mtaa hiyo tu moyo unajua ni pesa mungu kwa sana kufanya interview ndio sika wewe because wewe ni mrio wangu so let's end up kusema kitu yenye spike kusema because unajua ukienda ukienda interview na kusema na kusema mjuani unakuanga so a lot akikuliza swali unaweza mwambia take um come again Mataza ukiona mori wako unaweza tema choma juu na unaoni kaka sawa ni kama tuko na roga na kamera so pesa wewe mimi nashanga mpaka leo muoji umetoka US United States of America bro bro it take alafu bado unaita pesa moyo you take me wrong hand of the hand is still the boy man yeah. <laughs> and you went to the state to get some moyo <laughs> some moyo ni <laughs> <laughs> pesa squeeze ama uite paki Ah, pake ni nyinyi mabosi wa town mnaenda pake. Watu wao shangwa ni para tupenda kidogo. Wanaanza kuita pake. Ni watu wao ni watu mnagula galant kwa seven ndo mnaita pake, bro. Kuna pake. Bosi. You guys, umeset. Nita control eh. Sasa hiyo na manager nitalipa bill. No. Eh bosi, nita control. Nita control. Eh. Watu watu kunyolewa kimazi speed. Atra go control. But it's so funny how you grew up in ghetto kama hiyo, you know, na sio sadness umebeba. Yeah. Umebeba tu the joys za kuishi kwa hiyo mtaa. Yeah. Joy za kukuuli. Mlikuwa um, gamko slam but the slam was never in you. Yeah. Nimko tu hapo but spirit yako inaka ulikuwa bado umechangamka. Ulikuwa yeah. ulikuwa umeokoka hiyo time mkiishi So you, Christian ni Christian background eh mm-hmm. so mimi mshosho wangu ni Mkristo madhangu ni Mkristo sana alipasto madhangu alipasto 2014 oh pole so kila mtu ni Mkristo kwetu na shosho wangu sana sana having the match of the family yeye ni yeye ni yeye ni Mkristo damu so it's me grow up tuko hiyo tukienda church kunaenda church hapo karibu na ngando iko ito FFK mm-hmm. Free Pentecost Church of Kenya so tumi grow up kwa hiyo Christ, Christ, Christian background so mi outlook yangu ya life ni ati ukikwa kwa hiyo Christian faith for me it's a big part of my life ni ati mm-hmm. uangalie mali uko unaangalia you always looking at better days uko na uko na imani uko na faith uko na hiyo kitu yote uko na the joy of the lord it a little your situation mm-hmm. because that's why sometimes unapata anga hiyo time stress mingi liko kwa wazazi sio uko na issue Stress as you know like pata ukio msem big. Sasa sasa hivi unajua stress ni wazazi walikuwa nayo. Hiyo time wazazi wako na stress wako tu sawa because again when make sure ndio kuna vitu zingine hauna ndio kuna struggles and stuff like that. But for me na upload akina madhangu shosho yangu mzai wangu wali make sure hakuna kosi food au kosi nini hizo vitu zote. Au kosi au kosi kitu ya kudishi juu ya meza. That's very important for a kid. So sometimes a kid might not get what they want in terms of Kenyan as attack but as long as there is food on the table yako sawa utakuwa tu sawa as long as ujalala nja mm. as long as uko na kitu ya kuvaa as long as uko na hizo vitu zote and as long as in sasa kuna hiyo christian faith ya kukufunza that yo ni aje who do you want to become keep praying keep working at it and all those things so for me outlook yangu ya life ilikuwa shaped na ku grow up around love ku grow, uh, grow up around wasio wenyewe na hiyo uh, that positive and that hopeful kind of mindset because of again of our christian faith Did so, you grow up like uh, you have other brothers and sisters? So for me, yeah, my brothers and sisters came after. There's a very big gap between me and my brother and my sister. Mm-hmm. 15 year gap between me and my bro and 17 year gap between me and my and my and my sister. Who are now pretty big. Nimezeka. 
Stamu za egi yangu. But sasa, uh, nili grow up, initially when I was born, nili grow up in my grandmother's house. So around eight of my uncles and aunties. Who now wana kwa nganika bro, wengine, wengine ni kama wazazi. Wajua, tuku sound wa lilinlea. So, five brothers, eh, wa mother angu, na three, na three daughters, that's my mother, my firstborn, uh, firstborn aunt, na sasa my other aunt na ito shiko. So those are the people that I grew around. So a lot of love. Sasa mindi yo lastborn katotoka tisa. <laughs> eh, tukika chini, tupewe mkate, na kula yangu waraka, alafu naanza kulia. <laughs> Wote wana niongezea. <laughs> <laughs> Do they celebrate your success now in music because you're one of the most prolific artists we have in Kenya? Prolific. Yeah. Prolific. <laughs> Highly profile <laughs> artist in <laughs> Kenya. Eh? <laughs> 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 he meant he is proud. Yeah. I think, I think... Mbeko wa kisoma. Wajemi ni kia wanagatu he meant he na. Unujo siju for sure. Ni kisikianga he meant he. He meant he south, he meant he whatever. The first thing ina kuja kwa kili yangu tu ni David Mairalia. That's the first born nature on the last one. Eh, na ujai sikia kiraitu murungi. Kiraitu murungi na mjua. But siku mbu. He was uh, the late Muirari, he was a finance minister. Yeah, he was very big. Very very powerful, but he passed on. Yeah, he passed on. Yeah, he was a Menti Aju. He was a Menti Aju. Eh. Yeah. Eh, yeah, walikuwa watao. Yeah. Central, I mean North Menti. North Menti. Town ni North Menti. Yeah. Alafu kuna South Menti mali tuko na a lot of fruits. Na hiyo town ni West Menti. No, hiyo town hapo ni North Menti town katikati. Nasema hii Menti house iko town hiyo ni. Hiyo ni yetu bado. Hiyo ni capital of the Menti house hapo <laughs> ni headquarters. <laughs> so anyway. Eh, eh oh, they are very proud. They are very proud because they saw me to grow up waliona nikiwa naitwa aspirations. Nikira prab, unajua? So jo msani when you do in in the in the in the creative economy unakongosha na kuonesha madeli zako ukiwa mtoto. Like hizo ulikuwa na vituko, hizo ulikuwa hizo ulikuwa tu na mavako zako. So wako like yani for sure hii kitu yenye ulikuwa unafanya hapa kama mchezo ndio hii sasa inakupropa. Eh atu kwa TV ati kwa api uko kwa. And then so unajua pia msanii initial years za ku struggle sasa zingine wasao get it it's not like the usual thing and you support you wana kila mtu over there yes. kila siku unaombatu wa safe fair unaenda tao na wajua unaenda kata huko dunini exactly unajua kila siku how are you si ati unasoma eh. engineering hapo Nairobi ni eh. si ati ni kitu ati unacheza <coughs> ball uko tu like nipe fair manzi yeah. kuna show flani sio wapi nipe yeah. ndo ni unajua ni uko leo duma zile nimeitoa nimeitoa show nimeitoa umeitoa wa nini umeisho na nani na show ni ya september eh so ina kwa ndani show ground so ina kwa jokes 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 mpaka ni school anakuona kwa tv wako like wait a minute eh sio kwa like like okay wanaenda mahali wanaambia mtu huyu ni wetu wanaambia ai sio wenu anasema wanaweza kata nataka kama mtu sio kwetu Ajora pigia hizo simu. Mimi na kupigia eh alo just ni aje uko poa. Hebu salimie u best yangu. Eh. You know so those guys. Na lazima uwasalimie. Eh cuz you want to validation that we are related or I know more. Exactly. So kitu ilianza kama mchezo ama ilianza kama haiko inakanika kitu serious. Wakuja kuona ni mimi kwa kitu serious ama ni kitu inaweza leta ni kitu inaweza inatumika for good especially ni wale ambao spelatisha hiyo fair. Ara pala. Ara pala. Ni mwanko zangu. Eh, ara finish. Wewe unapiga simu aro nje si? Eh. Namna gani? Unajua unajua uh, mimi ndio nilikuwa na kusupport wakati ukiona toka Meru unaenda Nairobi. Hapo <laughs> narudi kama umechapa na kupea pia tena unaenda. Eh. eh Namwambia wao. Unakumbuka kwa hiyo wakati anakumbusha one is that. Kuna siku fulani <laughs> hata sikumbuki zingine ni za uongo. Kuna siku fulani nilikuwa nataka ulitoka Nairobi ulikuwa hata unalia umekonda hauna kitu mm. nikakutafutia 1000 ugarundi mm. then sikukuona tena unamuza kwa ni aje ah uh, nataka 
Alafu hiyo call inaishaga na a random salamu yenye unafaa kusalimia. Ah salimia calligraph. Salimia Jones. Salimia Jones. Na mwambie nampenda sana. Asifu ni wishi na calligraph. Eh Ah. Am you thought of becoming a comedian? I eh? in what sense? Like you are a funny guy. What I'm talking to watch kwa muziki zako uki try personally. Eh. I look at you as a comedian when you mefanya comedy for a while. Yeah. I can tell you have it yeah. inside you. Ukifanya ngoma zako sometimes me check. Yeah. Reason being kuna video imekuwa kitrend sana eh imeenda hata wa marafiki zangu wa Nigeria wananitumia back na mbia he's Kenyan eh unaona band inapita tao polisi wanacheza na wako serious alafu una dance what was in to you that day ndio ufikiri wacha ni dance kwa wimbo za band surely tuko na shoot video ya dance ya kanisa song i have to dance ya kanisa so tuna shoot hiyo video So yo street tuko na shoot tuko na activity mingi every other time tuko na tunaendelea so this one time tuna tunataka kupiga shot and then ah so me come me set up wameanza <laughs> kusonga <laughs> hey, eh have na chatu comedy na kwa ka comedy is a split second it's like it's a split na kuja saa hiyo tu eh i'm sure una any it's a split like una kwa gome una hiyo kitu and then umeona ile so it's a <laughs> so you got to like ding Ebu ni record. Nikapiga. Na nikaekelea. Eh ikaenda hivyo. Ikaenda ika grow. And then after a while ikaenda sasa unaanza kuanza kutumia juu Tanzania, nani, juu some other guys, juu ma blogger wa Kenya, juu nani wako everywhere. So but the thing is after the mission a couple of the times in a potesa pixelation. So what wana nijua? What is that? aka ni moji but the beginning is quite tell who did that anajua tu ni kamse kana dance kamse plan but the other joe na aka kamse ni nani so hiyo ndio ukirekodi hiyo video police police hapo kuuliza ah that's not even say again come the pia ni bold lazima kuwe bold hata ufikiri wewe ana ufikika ufikirika unaweza shikwa ukapiga tu dance eh wewe unapiga tu juu for you at that moment it's eh ina ka funny So ukapiga na na ikaenda hivyo. So walikuangalia. Plus there was nothing wrong I was doing this. Na iko national anthem. Usijaribu ku dance national anthem by the way. Eh wewe, you are telling me you're not yeshim. So sweet funny hivyo. But for that particular moment it was it was funny. So well, comedy muweza kufanya hiyo spontaneous comedy. Kuna siku atika unakumbuka. Kuna siku mkaniambia sasa kuja. Ufanye stand up. Ganipeleka pale Garden City. Kaume jaza watu tao nane. Wewe. Wewe. Uliogopa. Wewe. Wewe. Eh. Bana stage ukaona acha uimbe. Hapo unajua sasa imefika. First of all, backstage ndio iliniogopesha before hata ninge first. Because makomedian wote wako backstage, wame tense. Kila mtu wako kwa kona. Jasper kwa kona. Mtakiona eh mji 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 kama kiasi. Ini funny. Hapo comedian wote ni mapro. Wengi za baridi. Mimi nani? Hapo nikapanda kwa stage na sleepy. Sleepy bado anisaidie. Anaanza kunidhanya. Anaanza kunipiga mabomu. Sleepy ni mori wangu lakini usiku. Wewe like uja mai na gadi. Karibu so, DJ play track. So that's why kinembe oh ingia comedy ni go like as much as inaweza taka kufanya comedy in the way people think comedy should be should be done. Uh-huh. It I would need to be mentored same kufanya stand up ama kitu kayo to be yeah. shown how to yeah. how to deliver a joke in front of a crowd because yeah. again ni kama mpira kuna msi anaweza kuwa mnoma sana kuchenga chenga watu lakini mtu wao hapo mpeleke kampunu. Anaka ni ka ni ka yani comedy is not maybe can you what people might think comedy as what mm-hmm. akina Jesse will do like what you guys do is another type of comedy which is is not very easy as people might think in yes. like, to like put spumbled in front of people yes. give us jokes for 30 minutes but uh-huh. die <laughs> 
<laughs> so, <laughs> we take people through classes. Exactly. We learn how to do it. But everybody backstage, before you go on stage, we take two turns. So if you go to the next one, you know that every person has two turns. Even for me, before I go on stage, you know that every person has two turns. Am I, do I know what I'm going to say? Am I sure what to check up for this one? But you just go anyway, and then we come. So we go up. Do you know what I'm going to say? You see, like, again, I'm going to do your training, I'm going to do your time, I'm going to do my time in terms of performance. I know what to do when a crowd is like this and that like that. Yes. But I don't think I'm going to do stand-up comedy. I'm going to do my mouth. Like, because I was saying, I was going to do my mouth. I was going to do my mouth. I was going to do my mouth. One hour of comedy. You know what I'm going to do? I was going to do it. For one hour, and then last week we were coherent. Yes, I and people that. must laugh all through. I respect that. I respect yeah. that, and I, hopefully, I hope that we can attain that. But I respect everybody who does that. So it's not as easy as. Hey, <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah. But you can do it, don't worry. You mm. still can. Yeah. This time you're still young. Yeah. Oh, by the way, young now meoa. But before you we come back, Moji will be still will still be here on Jesse Junction at Ombia Kusu. Hey, juicy, juicy. Kajama Kameoa. <laughs> he's taken, he's gone. At Ombia more about the new life. Your marriage challenges. Navitumzuri Zenya Meona. Don't go anywhere. Jesse Junction will be back. Now Moji shot papa. Back to Jesse Junction, we're still here with Moji Short Baba. This guy is funny, a comedian. Now, hey, hey, now you chase your yako at you, Kawa. Yeah, man. Eh? Imagine. Kadem Kanitwanya Wera. Yeah, man. How's marriage for you, Sai? You go fit him to Angu. Eh? You go fit him. I think I'm happy, Sasa. Eh. I think it's going on four months, man. Four months. Ah, where about you go internship? I don't go internship. You go internship. That's what I saw you go and say, how is marriage? Like, two weeks. You go like, you know, I couldn't be like, to hear about a nini, man. Nini, man. I don't miss it, dude. Hey. Where you watch? But like, if you just squeeze it on your two generation here, um, I'll tell you, marry up for a month. Eh. Like, you know, I'm going to talk to Eh? The essentials of marriage. Ha, 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 ha,
in life I'm not a name no in life too uh-huh. in life too me I'm just a guy kuna leo so kuna me mori wangu ingine ataniambia ati aliingia kwa mat akazalisha na demo kamkatia mimi nilikuwa like ah jim una I'm just a shy guy even do even do no niko so you what that you may meet at the first day at nishaza kurusha mistari i could never be me man you see me me ulifanyaje hiyo siku hiyo siku niko tena tu nilikuwa tu fit nilikuwa well and good and i go like eh shorea kwa sawa and then uko tu like una move on sio ndio kukatia no na sema but si kumwambia anything ama kitu yote yes hiyo ndio kukatia we met a couple of times after and also and tukapata na kwa chat so huyo ndio ule demo shaikatia kwa maisha yako yote hapana hapana i'm just shy shy people wana kuanga too hard sometimes to start conversation ama kuingia in a room yenye ajulikani so you can be good kuendelea but hiyo like the first thing kwanza uko like what do i do what do i say those kind of things eh ko just a bit shy but manishi sijai manishi ni kukatia ama your shyness is a style of cutting no 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 it's just a, it's just you know it is a <laughs> hey, be cool. it's just like that wona kwanga tu hivyo mkwanga tu hivyo mkwanga tu hivyo wewe wewe jesus kutoka tu long time hivyo tu eh mimi nimekwanga tu hivi mimi nimekwanga sniper tu hivyo wanakuja yeye usa you good i'm jess yeah 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 na niko nao kasauti ka sexy you you good yeah Yeah, I'm just with your name. But I kuanga hivyo kwa mending. Ilikuwa hivyo accent. What was that language like Kimeru? Eh, muga. Ilikuwa na na rhymes za Kimeru, muga. Muga ngoto wanani. Ngoto wanani ambele. Eh, ndio kuanga kangeta. Hata uongei. Nambia roho yangu inadunda juu yako. Afu kameru kana kwambia ah waacha mtesa. <laughs> so you day after me meet Mrish that day he was up nini. Mka meet baadaye mka kwa mabeshte. Yeah. yeah. Kama baadaye tuko kwa mabeshte for long past uh-huh. before we before we even dated. So tuko marafiki for a while. Did you get a culture shock ya kukua? Wewe umetoka mangeto huku alafu aka nikatoi kababi come to ka oh my gosh like seriously who are you you're so yeah. short yeah yeah and you're promising me a long time relationship and yeah. you're short hadi sai unajua sasa kama kingoso mtu wangu ah na yeye anajua ngoso anajua kizungu sisi kile kizungu tumeiokota okota huko juu ya juu ya my client wazalila covid ya tumeiokota juu ya kizungu juu ya client So you know, you go like um I'm going to revert. Yeah. <laughs> Let's touch base. Let's keep the conversation going. Tunajua yeah. kizungu ya biashara. Again yeah. mali tunotoka umetoka ile kizungu ya my evangelist. Yes. Kizungu ya mta. So kama kuna vitu nilikuwa nasemaga nilikuwa nasemaga an ear. Eh? An ear go. An ear go. Na mimi do is anything wrong. Ah like an ear go. Mimi no it's a ear. A ear. Aniago aia Sasa kwa na shindo kimwambia Aniago mimi sijui kizungu gani tunaongea huko mtaani jipo kama mtaani sikuwa sasa unakumbuka kitambo tulikuwa sema ngita eh eh msa cheza ngita eh kwa like ngita mbona mnasema ngita it's a gita it's a gita sasa yeah at hiyo kitu hiyo kitu kwa spark akimaanisha magnet eh maze haina stick up haina spark haina spark so i think you kwa simba although by the time kwa patana ni kwa at least kushanga kujua kizungu si kizungu but also yani akili tu kufunguka unajua kuna ile umtama ushao ama nini sometimes like background yako yuko you don't know anything better until you anza kumeet other people and stuff like that but of course kuna hiyo kama kizungu nini those kind of things man tukokuwa na sayu naweza sema mko sawa mko sweet yeah iko fit enjoying life bora ita pesa moyo but marriage kaki marriage si basi anki moji shot baba hata ubadilisha jina ya pesa tawita which camera kitu marriage works moji shot dio to my right alam baba ebu angalie camera we advise couples young couples that are coming up you know wana wana kosa na kosa na kabla hata wa one ebu advice ah uko na experience for months is not a joke ah well 
make sure kabla uwe mtu try if amko friends build your friendship uh-huh. it's very important build your friendship unajua kuna wase wenye before you dated you were friends <laughs> so kuna wase kuna hiyo blessing kuna wengine wenye ndio limit msemi mkaanza ku date uh mkaanza ku date immediately before so build that friendship i think that's very important and have people around you who can advise you and stuff accountability is very important <laughs> kwa life actually it's one of the most important things kesa kwa sababu Because it's one of the hardest things for anybody to do mm-hmm. to be accountable to anybody because accountability is an option you see if just you are accountable to anybody it's an option you can choose not to be if you have a mentor or a pastor or somebody like that it's a choice to be accountable to that person or a group of friends you know like that so accountability is the hardest things but it's one of the of, of, of the best things in life Other people who are not Christians know that accountability is important. Mm-hmm. The people who have business coaches who have all these things and stuff like that. It's good to be in a group of people or to have friends or to have a pastor, a man of God, people who can help you, people who can coach you, people who can correct you. People who are you know, people who can be there to tell you, "Hey, hapa hapana, hapa hapana, ama hapa sawa endelea." Jupi wao sio wanakaa accountability ni akwambie mse tu acha. Accountability ya kwambia msee waacha peke yake. Accountability sometimes ni kwambia msee sometimes una feel like unaweza give up. Kama sometimes una think uko wrong, nakumbuka uko wrong. Kumbuka uko right. You know? Unafaa kwambia sikuma ama tulia ama nini. So accountability in everything, not just in marriage. Senior counselor. <laughs> Senior marriage counselor. A book is coming up. In your marriage. Ukienda <laughs> kina pale kwa kwa DP, pale kwa profile picture mtu yote tu afanye hivi. <laughs> I'm sorry for chini kuna how to make money. I just enjoy my stay. Kio na hivi. This is your coaching. I'm tired. I'm a friend Robert Brown. Siko na kama mtaja. Siko na kama mtaja. This is friend coach Robert Brown. RB. RB. Moji, wewe tulikapa tukamaliza hii story. Kelele takatifu. You are a group, uh, you are in a group kelele takatifu. Yeah. Noma sana, ikavuma sana. Yeah. And then uka ukaona Mungu amekuongelesha njia zingine. What, what what happened with kelele takatifu? Um so, mimi tu ndio sijui by the way. I guess. So tuki grow so, so of course ile time yote niki grow ngando, mm-hmm. niki grow kaongware nika kamaliza Wong Forest ni kwa compassion international hapo ndo nilianza ku rap na kuimba mm-hmm. so nilianza ku rap na kuimba na group of friends and then nika join high school senior chief kwa inange so mm-hmm. that's where made didi so tukaanza kuimba tukiwa senior chief ku perform CU weekend challenge hizo zote zote world aids day unajua hiki kitu tu mna perform yes and then sasa tukaanza kuimba after high school 2010 tukaingia tukaingia ulingoni tukaingia Nairobi mm-hmm. chamba la mawe mm-hmm. kwanza kutafutana na events na kila kitu kinatafutangwa Nairobi yes. so tukapambana tukatoa ngoma kadhaa tukatoa ngoma na holiday vilikuwa itwa ni mso uh, na all those songs so mm-hmm. but tulikuja kujulikana vizuri in 2015 wakati tulitoa wimbo ulikuwa unaitwa itakuwa ngori mm-hmm. itakuwa Ita ngori eh yeah, hiyo yes, yes man so after <coughs> after kutoa hiyo song ndio tukapata maarufu tukafanya bamba mbaya na couple of other songs so tukakuwa established and then you know tuko tunaanza tukiwa very young tukiwa as friends so by the time tuko nafika kutoa hizo song na kuendelea mm-hmm. tulikuwa tume tumeanza tuko kwa different people in terms of the, the way we think and our purposes and where we want to head direction you kila mtu anza kuchukua in terms of as an individual in our in our ministry and career so tukaanza ku tukakuwa tuko na hizo differences and that's when in 2017 kama ku kupata okay. so that's when sasa nili venture out as muji shot mba nikatoa kuzitoka so ah. mliket tu mkaambia na wacha tu kila mtu ende njia zake or what well, led to the split of the amazing award winning group kelele Lele. takatifu you know <clears throat> the thing is when that happens what I, again is a root is a root cause is that mnaanza kwa of different thinking mnaanza kwa of different whatever that manifests in different big and small things so uh, yeah, so itakuwa yani mtakuwa too different mnafikiria tofauti so kutakuwa na vitu mingi tofauti zinge zina happen big and small things which sometimes ukizitaja kama hapa zitachukuliwa na zipo <laughs> ziko blown out of proportion but that's the, that's the core whatever mm-hmm. so to, after those things because it happened tukasema okay sir i think it's good just you know kila mtu apige mambo yake 
na but we still friends na bado tunakuanga fit so ni onana na didi let's one na didi so ngea once in a while here and there Yeah. before you venture out on your own uh, kuna watu walitaka muendele kuka pamoja kama kelele takatifu yeah, like my fans na mabeshti yeah. pastors jukos ilikuwa months before to say after to make decision ya sema tunaenda mm-hmm. tulika months kama 3 4 months before to find anything so abu was all like zi 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 hapa hivi na nini it was wengine it was after a year and all kwa like okay moji sat na what you are doing especially for the guys because again me i had my own accountability people when you go like aambi anyo ni aje even mimi natakula na cause lazima nipige support ju kakienda kibaya mka kienda mrama ndo kona mimi hapo so lazima convince was say lazima uombe u feel god na kuombiaje you know direction gani god anataka uende na god anajua anaweza sometimes ukiamua kichwa ngumu utakwenda unaweza enda na kaenda kauma na huko mbele wanze kurudi oh mungu baba so lazima pray to god and make sure everything is is set to go so for me i did all that lakini kwa watu wengine bado walikuwa kulikuwa nayo friction alafu mimi nikakuwa kwanza kutoa wimbo bado ikakuwa na friction eh ni hiyo kelele yako wewe hiyo mtamora mbona wewe hizo kitu kuna kwa kala kelele yako nimefanya hata group kaisha kafupi ana kwenda no wonder wewe ni mfupi uko chini kama hiyo height yako Autaenda mali utairefuka. Utaishi underground. But but ukatoa song na ikakuwa hit. Utoa songs kada. Kabla kabla the first one we had uli ulikuwa umetoa zingine. Six months I guess so five five or six months ukona toa song kasa ba I think. Uko nime uko na jua itakuwa hizi so mimi niko like twende twende. Kaende So by the time natoa natoa ushagoni twende twende. Kaende kando 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 moyo atu a pesa moyo kaende kaende bye so ilikuwa nikatoa kuzitoka wacha story wacha wacheki hajawai niangusha shuko usitumane afu i think around your time nikatoa vimba so vimba na nikai ilikuja kumaliza nikai ilikuwa amen nika vimba da vimba da vimba da vimba da vimba da vimba da tulimbe watoto na wewe wana mingi Baka likuwa na shindo hizi vimba da zitaisha sangapi. What inspired you to sing vimba da vimba da ni nini sasa? Ujo vimba da, the original idea of the song ilikuwa Jabi Deep. Mm-hmm. So, mini kwa nimesikia years before, then tuka meet years after. Nika mwambia, hey, niaji, cho, ila idea ulikuwa nayo ni moto. Iyo nika four years after nimesikia song, kuna four itoe. Mm-hmm. Eh, hey, sama saa, andi one thing led to another, kasama saa, kato na toa tuitoe na wewe. <laughs> tuka gamu, tuka ipiga piga, nini kapika pika hizo vitu zote alafu na jesami niko nimekaa kwa industry for long so kuna vitu watu wantuna unajua najua najua yeah. mashimo najua nini hizo vitu zote so mm. tukapika wimbo na tukafanya mambo hiyo yeah. nyingine ni ya Mungu within a few months song iko kila mahali kila mtu alikuwa na dance hiyo wimbo everywhere man yeah. hey, so was it exciting to see people singing to now vimba da vimba da vimba da it was exciting it's always exciting kuona hiyo kitu kia hapo because you, you, you appreciate my one this is surely god's work because uh-huh. you see mimi yes eh cuz so, can you still do me no sama can you still do i think what we do ni kama hiyo this <laughs> particular episode of just junction number the whole thing it's like a seed yes so your work is to plant the seed uh-huh. but then god waters it yes yeah so my work as moji ni at, at any one time niko tuna plant seeds yes ni kwe, i'm coming to interviews like this i'm releasing music i'm recording it mm-hmm. i'm doing stuff i'm throwing seeds into the air kama ako ka video kalikuwa ka mbegu nikakaeka yes. mungu aliamua katenda nigeria katenda wapi and all those things yes. so for me it was a seed na god akamwa iende so ju ukianza ku trivialize how big it is utaanza kufikiria ni nguvu zako mm-hmm. utaanza kufikiria unaweza fanya unafanya nyingine unaona unafanya ngoma kama hiyo unapiga nyingine inagonga mwamba <laughs> lakini watu hajuangi eh una una withdraw na jaribu nyingine eh hapo ndo unaitoanga sasa sasa kwanza unasema unajua ile nyingine video iko fit so you kwanza unamwacha when we shoot essay unakuja hakuna mtu anaona hakuna mtu anacheki na ni superstar eh i think that's what you know as life ukikua ukijua by the way for me i think god brings a very good balance in your life Yeah. Cuz God ana bring your balance akujua. It's not by your power. Because if it's by your power then ina maanisha kila kitu watu wengi kwa idaweza. Ukifanya. Juu si ya kwanza ile weza so unajua how to do it. But hiyo yeah. nyingine unaipiganga unajua wewe unaweza rusha kitu. Ifike hapa iru. Yes. Yeah, so for me 
ilikuwa to the power of god na ika na ikakuwa poa ikakaa ikafanya all these songs sasa wakazijua na i think ikani establish vizuri ka ka moja does music pay for you yeah it does mm-hmm. yeah it does and you can say you're comfortable with your career you actually achieved your dreams when it comes to music vile ulianza ngando mtaani ukikuja na watu wako akiona jani yako you can actually say god amekufungulia milango vizuri in music and you're living the dream ya music i cannot say nimefika mali mimi nataka kufika that would be a lie mali nataka kufika sijafika bad i'm still on the journey but i can say kuna some so many things nimeona so many blessings nimeona on my journey that could be indication that whatever whatever they do, however big the dream that i have mm-hmm. it's achievable you get so but us jafka mali nataka kufika but nimeona that it's possible kuna so many blessings zenye zime happen zenye zimefanya nifike hadi hapa zenye zimefanya nifikirie eh hey, by the way inawezekana naweza fika naweza fika naweza fika mali nataka mm-hmm. bora nikiendelea kwa mimi naweza fika mali nataka ama naweza so fika kwenda US yenye ulikuwa umeenda juzi ulikuwa umeenda kufanya nini sikuwa ya show kuimba Simple oh, enough achieve what you're saying living the dream. Do you know how many people wish to go and perform outside Kenya? Yeah. In fact outside Nairobi. Yeah. But I think you you've achieved. I have achieved. But I'm saying I have, I have achieved that milestone. Mm-hmm. But kuna ile milestone. Kuna what I want kuna my, kuna the image of the event I want to do in Kifka America. Mm-hmm. One day maybe that by the grace of God I achieve. Dafika huko nipige ile show mimi natafuta. But for now napiga hiyo show and i'm grateful to god that naweza fanya hivyo naweza enda huko niperform na nirudi but <laughs> kuna the image kuna ile kitu nataka ku achieve so i'm still on the journey ya kusema nataka kufika hapo bro kwani sasa kuna na jeri yangu bro <laughs> i'm on a chop <laughs> eh lazima <laughs> eh moji shot baba tukika hapa na wewe tunaweza toka hapa za sita ya usiku from my story you, you, from my story na wewe ni comedian kama movie ya nigeria eh? <laughs> Chuleta. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. Yeah, also <laughs> fear in Keno. Kwa moji shot baba we appreciate you so much for coming for Jesse Junction. We wish you the best in your music. Asante. Na utaenda kwa format huko America na ukienda usipotee. Kuna wengi wamepotelea huko. Hawajai rudi. So usipotee. Come back. Ambi anagai kwa ndo angalie. Cheza gospel my EP imetoka so. Wendo angalie. Cheza gospel the newest by the way. Cheza gospel by Moji Shot Baba Iko. Enda YouTube angalia kitu noma sana. Itunes. Eh? Ulidhani vimba na likali. Cheza gospel. Wewe. Don't go anywhere just junction we back. Ndio tufunge vizuri. Moji, maze thanks a lot bro. Thanks for coming. Moji show T Baba what a guy very funny and a comedian right here on Jesse Junction actually Moji shot baba reminds me of these great quotes that i personally know that says you know you are shot when you use an espresso cup as a regular coffee mug <laughs> thank you for watching Jesse Junction see you next time so far <laughs> so good